It's time to talk about Winter Wonderland, the next update for Horizon 5. We've got a few new leaks, a few new car possibilities, and a few clues as to my, as to what might be in the Winter Wonderland update. Quickly before you do, here are the winners of the American Car Pack giveaway codes. If these winners don't reply on Xbox, which they often don't, I will pick some other people. So make sure to comment your game tag and subscribe if you want to win a car pack. I've actually got loads of other car pack codes left that still haven't been won. So make sure to get commenting and subscribing. So let's start off with the new leaks. Now, as you're aware, every time we get an update for Horizon 5, the files are updated and some sneaky people look through them and to see if anything's been added to the files. Well, the most recent update, American Automotive, has been examined now and a few things have been found. A manufacturer logo was found and it is the Gordon Murray automotive logo. This is interesting. The Gordon Murray cars like the T50, they are not on the car elite car list. We have had no sign of them in Horizon 5 whatsoever. However, the T50 was recently added last week to Forza Motorsport. So this could be a sign that the car is now to come to Forza Horizon. And I would say it's probably expected. It's in Forza Motorsport right now. The same week that happened, it happens to pop up in the files for Horizon 5 as well. So could we be getting the Gordon Murray car at some point? It's certainly possible it has appeared in the files very recently. Now the interesting thing about this is it is a British car and there are a lot of British cars that have been leaked very lately. So once again, everything's adding up to a potential British automotive update, including the Gordon Murray and all the other British cars. What else was found? Well, there's a bunch of brands mentioned in text strings. Now, these have been in the files for a while that TGR55 makes very clear, so we're not going to touch much on these because if these have been in the files a while, they are less relevant, I would say. But it's a load of brand names that mainly do sort of body kits and aftermarket parts, such as Tony Star Performance, they seem to go for body kit style. Battle Aero, they seem to do massive wings, and I mean massive wings. Then we've got things like Maxton Design, who do front splitters, rear diffusers, side skirts and stuff like that. Prior Design Customization, who do sort of unique kits, it seems, for specific cars. The other ones, I'm not going to try to pronounce the first one. We've got 777, Robot Craftsman, KFD Team, Auto-Tuned and Aeroflow Dynamics. Now, these are all in the same sort of genre of stuff that they do. I can only guess that these would only be in here if they are potentially coming to the future as body kits or customization. Again, he said that these have been in the files for a while now, so we don't want to put too much hope on these. We only really are very interested in the things that have recently been added because that shows that there's something going on recently to do with them. These have been in the files potentially for a while. We don't know. If we go back to the live stream where the current update American Automotive was announced, the guys had this to say about the Winter Wonderland update. Take a listen. Um, the Secret Santa is returning with two cars this time, uh, two of the most amazing cars we've brought to the game. Bold I'm claim. very, very yeah, excited. Yeah, I'm bigging this one up. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> interesting. So obviously they are focusing on the Secret Santa specifically here. In the past for the Secret Santa, we have had the Peel Fee 50 as a reward and last year we had the Lamborghini Sien R. Now these are two very difficult cars to I guess be better than and the guy in the live stream makes it very clear that these cars coming in the Secret Santa are the coolest cars we've ever had. Now if you guys can have any guesses as to what these cars are going to be, these two cars within the Secret Santa event, feel free to pop your guesses below. I have my personal guess with a bit of evidence behind it. A very long time ago, and I'm talking I think almost two years ago, there was a couple of leaks in the files related to a community gift event we can see here. Now they were found sort of within the barn find files which might say that they're barn finds that were later scrapped, however it does have a little bit of a correlation to the Secret Santa. And the two cars in question are the 1910 Fiat S76 Beast of Turin and the 1967 Hearst Shifters Baja Boot. Both of these cars, or files for these cars, were found, as I said, a couple of years ago, and they seemed to be related to a barn find or a Secret Santa event. Now, obviously, we've only had two of them events since then, the PLP 50 and the Event at Orsian. Now, obviously, it's very likely that these two cars were scrapped and they are not coming as a community gift event. But this is a long-standing leak. We haven't seen these cars in the game and we are getting another Secret Santa 
could it be these two cars? The only reason I think it might not be is I wouldn't say that these two cars are like some of the best cars that they've ever added, which again is what they said in the live stream. So I don't know. And what else is in the Winter Wonderland update? Well, we have Stadium Makeover and new racetrack. Now, when it comes to the Stadium Makeover and the racetrack, if you remember back to the clip I played earlier. Uh, yes, so winter is coming. Uh, we've got the uh, Winter Wonderland uh, starting December 7th. Um, we've got a festive stadium makeover. Um, this is amazing. Got um, another new racetrack. Um, if four wasn't enough for you, we've got uh, another one next series. And then we've got uh, new cars as well, of course. The stadium makeover is said to be festive, which can kind of say that the stadium makeover will be similar to last time when we've had the ice rink with the Christmas trees, as you can see a photo of on screen here. It's going to be something along those lines. Hopefully they'll mix it up a bit, not just give us the same thing again, but a festive stadium makeover is what we're getting. And the other one is the new racetrack. Now I've seen a few people presume that we're getting the racetrack within the stadium, kind of like the oval track, I guess you could say. But he does say here that the new racetrack just means a new race. Now in the last update, we had four new permanent race routes. This is all the new racetrack means. We're getting one more new race route um, in the next update. So, so the new racetrack isn't actually as cool as it sounds. Festive makeover and, well, the new racetrack. New cars, obviously, new cars are to be expected. Now, there is no particular car theme in Winter Wonderland, it seems, so these cars could be absolutely anything. Obviously, we, ref we refer to the leaked car list to look for some possibilities. We still have these cars down here, which were leaked a couple months ago, and they have turned to be extremely reliable. We got the KTM, we got the Ford O'Connor line, we got the BMW M3, and we got the Selina 7, which only leaves five cars left. With how reliable this leak has been, it does confuse me a little bit as to why the Ford Mustang SVT is just sort of hanging in there on its own and doesn't really correlate to any update we've got from now on. One last thing to touch on quickly, and it is the Dia de Muertos update that we just had. Now, over on Twitter, Futsal Horizon, the Twitter page, has put on a, a poll to sort of vote how you enjoyed the Dia de Muertos update. It takes you to the forums, and it's a survey, essentially, and you just have to sort of fill in you know, what you reckon about the update. Now, there's only 156 people that have kind of voted in this, which I find mental. How many tens of thousands of people play this game and only 100 people have the time to actually tell them how we enjoyed an update? And it's these surveys, it's these polls that really helps them make updates even better. So I would encourage every single one of you to go and fill in this survey. It only takes a minute to read and vote for how you enjoyed Dia de Muertos. I encourage you to do it because it's only going to help future updates. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all later.